Hey guys, Jim here with Creative Play and Podcast Network, and here we are again in August. It is now hashtag RPG a day again for its eighth year. God, it's it's been so long. Again, we're joining in with all the other tabletop gamers out there to get creative and use the prompts now for RPG a day 2021 to inspire you guys to all write, vlog, blog, draw cool pictures this year. They're asking for whatever you do, do. So we are going to go ahead and start out with the next day. All right, guys, here we go. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, assigned to Ragnarok Story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. All right, guys, it is hashtag RPG a day 2021 and Jim and Kelly here. Hello. To start off August the 1st. And do you know what the word of the day is? Scenario. Can you imagine a day, a scenario where we have to talk about a scenario? (laughs) No, I wouldn't have. But uh, um, what I can recall is one of my favorite scenarios. And what would that be? Well, um, back when we first started Scion, um, ages ago, uh, there was that one scenario you took us through. Um, this was the Vanguard uh, group, our very first one. Um, uh, and you had done this scenario for us where we were taken from our modern day um Characters, and we were put into people in World War II, Battle of the Bulge, freezing, and we had to, um, you know, just figure out what was going on. And so that was just, I had never been in a scenario like that before, and it was so interesting. That that was definitely a fun one, was you know? Yeah. The Goddess and of I, Stories let you guys go back in time and experience the Battle of the Bulge. Yeah, so, and I figured it out, yay, it was me. (laughs) (laughs) Or rather, I should say Val. Um, And it was cool because Val was in the the body of a soldier. So (laughs) it was kind of strange, you know, to, I'm playing a girl who's in the body of a boy, you know, (laughs) during this horrible, you know, uh, freezing uh winter battle or uh um uh siege basically so that was that was interesting i had to like think about that but that was a really interesting scenario and uh the beauty of it was was it was based on the actual battle of the bulge in world war ii and conveniently just when you guys took out the ice demons the horrible winter cleared just like in real history you know it's one of those things it is nice when you can take a scenario from history and throw your players into it, but you got to be careful because pigeonholing could be a thing and railroading because if it is a scenario from history, how are you going to make it end like it's supposed to end? Yeah, and of course it was interesting the way it ended because once the blizzard cleared, uh, because we'd taken out the, the um, ice demon, uh, then the actual battle started to ensue and uh, with most of our characters being of uh of Asgard descent you know we were uh as guardians the majority of us um i think what well two two were not mhm we had um one japanese character and a native american yeah uh <laughs> that since we were as guardians, technically, 
<laughs> in the actual World War II in the history in the scion that they had apparently they had sided with the fatherland, you know. So when we were in battle and we start going up against other scions and then they find out we're you know, also of the Norse pantheon, the majority of us are like, but you're supposed to be on our side. And we're like, no, we're Americans. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's one, it's one of those moments where it's much like in the book series, American Gods, where some of the Norse gods were on Germans, Germany's side, some were on America's side because they migrated over. You know, these these things, you know, this is this is a house divided, you know. Yeah, it, but it was a lot of fun. Mm hmm. Yeah, that was that was a fun scenario. I mean, as as a GM, I, I like to throw out their fun scenarios where the players can be completely crazy. And if things happen in a bad way that kills people, it might not kill the players. Like uh, we would one just of come back to our own time. Mm -hmm. One of the scenarios I was going to throw out there was back when we used to play riffs way back in the day was we had somebody who had uh, the ability to basically have uh precog ability of seeing what was going to happen so i used to like throwing scenarios out at the group where basically they would get to get one free shot running through a scenario and if they died horribly it's the snap back to the prophecy of the hey guys don't do this one thing <laughs> when they say this thing's serious this thing is serious don't 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 push the red button <laughs> because that way they have a scenario where you can just let the players have total free caveat of, of agency and the scenario won't hurt the storyline. Of course, you can't do it too often because if you do, they start getting all wonky and crazy stuff can happen. Yeah, that's true. But yes, never be afraid to have fun with a scenario in game. Mm -hmm. Unless your player's playing a sci-fi game on the hollow deck playing D and D, then the <laughs> scenario just loses all impact because the players decide not to play uh, Star Trek. They decide to play D and D instead, and that's how they beat the GM by saying, "Sorry, <laughs> our sci-fi game is now a fantasy RPG." <laughs> yeah, that's a crazy scenario. That it's, but it's a scenario that's happened before. <laughs> In years past, never be a shy to let crazy scenarios happen. So uh, I'm thinking that's, that's going to wrap up the first day of RPG Day 2021, unless you have some other scenario in mind. Nope, not that I can uh, think of. Okay, so uh, we've, we've, we've run through the scenario of RPG a Day for August 1st. Now tomorrow we'll just have to map things out. Can you guess what tomorrow's word is? Hmm, would it be map by any chance? It is. It is also senses, plan, voice. Uh, an interesting thing with RPG a day 2021 this year, they made a calendar that has a lot more than it usually does. That if you're interested, you can pick the day, roll a D8, have the number, and there's four topics you can pick from. I'll hmm. post, of course, the picture in the uh, the podcast episode but like tomorrow is map senses plan or voice so they're mixing things up this year which is pretty cool i of course being a traditionalist i'll go with the the, the prompts of the day but that's just me <laughs> Alrighty, guys so that's going to be a good place to wrap it up for hashtag rpg a day 2021 august the first scenario Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And feel free to enjoy our other shows, such as D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition and Scion Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Thank you for listening. <laughs>